Okay, in today's video, we're going to take a look at how to stay organized when working with a large session. So if you look at the session I have pulled up, um, you can see I'm, I've got well over 40 tracks. And everything is labeled. All my tracks are labeled. And I've color-coded and grouped them in certain ways as well. Now try to imagine for a second what it would be like working with this arrangement if I didn't have these tracks labeled, color-coded, and organized. I mean, it could potentially be a total nightmare, uh, one big headache. So we'll start with track labeling. This doesn't take a lot of time. If you just click on your track that you want to label, and then you double-click on it again, you'll get your, box, your edit box that'll pop up and allow you to type in your name. Then you just hit Tab, and it'll automatically allow you to do the same thing for the next track below. Hit Tab again. So essentially, we could go through all these tracks and quickly name them. Um, and that's going to play a big part in helping you stay organized. Now the next thing is color coding. Uh, to color a track, all you need to do is highlight the different regions that you want to color and then you hit option C and your color box will pop up and you can essentially assign any color that you want to the selected region so these are all my kick instruments um, and that's why I have them grouped together in the same color so it gives me some visual distinction on those instruments compared to the rest of the tracks in my arrangement you just highlight the regions you go through pick a color you want And it's that simple. So you can color and label your track very easily and very quickly.